The African Union is becoming more effective in addressing peace and security challenges. To achieve this, its roadmap for 2016 to 2020 emphasizes the importance of partnerships. A major priority is to enhance its ways of working with regional economic communities. Known as RECs, they are the building blocks of the AU, but there are a number of challenges. The biggest challenge is that the AU works with eight RECs, but these have all developed differently. Some are more advanced in promoting responses to peace and security, while others have limited capacities or different focus areas. A lack of communication and overlapping roles and structures between the AU and the RECs also means that resources are sometimes duplicated. Two new ISS policy briefs examined some of the best practices and lessons learned for two of these RECs, ECOWAS and EGAD. They also consider how these RECs can work better with the AU. The research demonstrates that ECOWAS and EGAD both have well-developed early warning systems, experience in mediation, and a sound understanding of their envisioned role in peacebuilding and post-conflict reconstruction and development. The AU also has similar structures in its peace and security architecture, such as an early warning system and a newly created mediation support unit. In a global climate where finances are waning, the question of who should do what becomes critical. The APSA 2016 to 2020 roadmap identifies ways for enhanced collaboration between the AU and the RECs. A key focus is a better understanding of their comparative advantage. In other words, who is in a better place to do what in a more efficient way? This needs to be done on a case-by-case -case basis, depending on the unique strengths of the REC in question and across different aspects of the conflict resolution spectrum. The AU can also play a role in bringing together RECs to share and learn from their best practices. For example, ECOWAS has formalized agreements with civil society platforms that enhance its early warning systems. This could bring lessons on how different regions and the AU can increase their connections to civil society. Most importantly, the AU can play the role of the overseer ensuring that responses are coordinated, maximize the strengths of different actors, and that frameworks are streamlined. There is a lot of potential for RECs to enhance the African peace and security architecture, but their limitations must also be understood. The AU is the authorized body to strengthen the coordination and enhancement of its RECs. Building on comparative advantages will strengthen ownership, consensus, and synergy between the AU and RECs, a guiding principle of the APSA 2016-2020 roadmap.